Well, well, well. What do we have here? We are humble lambs on our way to join God's herd. In that case, will you help your fellow brother? Well, of course, brother. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> I could kill you right now, but I want, I want you to remember this. You can't take that one out alone, kid. Gotta split the reward with someone else. Sancho's a member of the dreadful Jack the Slavers gang. Jack the Slavers gang? He was a Confederate captain who never surrendered to the Yankees. He and his men are now pretty much a guerrilla gang. Deadly guys. You need at least two others. And I guess you want to be one of those two. Well, kid, as soon as the sheriff pays me for this corpse, I'm without business. We still would need an extra man. And I think this guy might be of help. Who, that redskin? What's the deal? 
Jack the Slaver's gang. Count me in. It's 5,000 for each member. Why do you want to check Skang Ringo? I want Sancho. I see. Revenge? You don't drink? No. I'm a Mormon. A Mormon? <laughs> but you seek revenge. Mormons don't seek no revenge. How'd you know? Cause in 1838 I was in Jackson County, Missouri. I was there when those poor devils were persecuted. And I'm pretty sure there ain't been no Mormon shooting back to the bastards. Well, let's say I'm in some sort of transitional period. A Mormon losing faith, huh? That's new to me. So, I've got some news. Sancho and the two others have been seen riding a cart of sorts. I knew that. Jack's men never get no cart or thing for no reason. They must have needed that for something. That's what I thought. There's an army convoy that will pass through the canyon the day after tomorrow towards Santa Fe. Because of the damage rails from the war, they got to go on carts. Jack might be going to ambush them. Exactly. Now, I think it's better if we attack the gang from two sides. From the outside. And from the inside, yes. Are you suggesting that you should infiltrate them or something? Well, you know me. That I do very well. Exactly. I'll need something convincing to persuade them to accept me, though. How much would it cost? Don't worry. The bounties us two have just collected will cover the price, and I know just the right place to get what I need. Hey, we haven't discussed the reward split yet. I don't want to slice. You can split between you. I want to see that bastard dead. That's all. There you are, you dirty Mexican. I have the cart. You should have seen it, Jack. This cart was of some religious family. You killed them all? All, except for the boy. I've let that little rat crawl around. <laughs> Damn it, Sancho. He might talk. And someone smarter can figure out all of it. Don't worry, amigo. We'll be done before anyone notices. You sure that's necessary? Yep. Look, if you want, you can keep it after all this. My half's enough for me to build a ranch on. Why do you want to see Sancho dead?
that card was of my family. We were going to Utah to join all the other Mormons, but this Sancho showed up and killed them all. He left me there watching everyone being shot. We'll find him and I'll shoot him in the head. You know, kid, revenge isn't always the best way. See, take me for example. I once had my tribe, then a general came and exterminated us. I spent most of my life tracking down that bastard, and I killed the guy off. I'm not sure that he even understood why did I kill him. Since then, my jobs became just killing all those scums. This won't mean to you anything right now, but revenge is useless, and it won't bring back your family. I ain't no different. I had a wife, I lived nicely, and then somebody convinced me to join the army and fight the war. War ended, I got back home, and I found my wife killed. I hunted down those bastards who did that and killed them. But when I got there, I ain't no me anymore. I changed. I became another man. Maybe my wife would have left me if she was alive. Shit, I would have not said a damn swear word before. I did some terrible shit I'd be happy to forget. But, damn, I can't. When you kill Sancho, you'll do the same shit he does. And you turn out to be the same asshole he is. Yeah, I already heard that. You shall slap thee on thy cheek. Turn him also the other one. I heard that crap so many times. I should have faith and overcome all these trials, they would say. But damn, I don't think any of those guys had their parents or brother killed in front of them. I just want my family to have justice. That ain't no justice. That'd be vengeance. Sancho. Sí, tú, Hugo. Es bueno verte. Bien, gringo. ¿Dónde está mi madre? Murió durante el invierno. Te estaba buscando, Sancho. Estoy seguro que te amaba. Sir, I served you during the war. 
Lieutenant Stanton, if that says something to you. Well, I have a lot of men under my lead. Why are you here, Stanton? I want to fight the Yankees. Good. What's in the coffin? Sir, I thought you might need this if you want to win against the enemy. You thought well. Welcome in our army. The convoy will get through the canyon tomorrow, around midday. If we cut the telegraph lines here, no one can warn the authorities. We'll use the car to cut down the escape routes for the enemy and shoot them down. Okay, okay, but when do we split the money? Don't worry, we'll go to Pietra Caliente. Wait a few days for things to cool down, then you and your gringos get your part. I need a volunteer to cut the telegraph this evening. I can do that. Can you shoot well? Wait, we'll come near the canyon. You'll meet us there. I'll need a horse. Sancho, give Stanton yours. Okay. I could have shot you a while ago. Yeah, whatever. Talk. They'll ambush them in the canyon tomorrow around midday. Then they'll go to Pietra Caliente. Good. I need to cut off the telegraph. How many are them? Ten. That will be hard. I have a feeling that there might be some inner factions. I don't think Jack would work with Mexicans unless he needs to. Very well. Is it all right, sir? Tell me, Stanton. Did you surrender at the end? No, sir. I escaped. You know why am I still fighting? I didn't surrender when the war ended. I did too many sacrifices for us. For another five years, I had an army of a hundred men. Then the Yankees came with their cannons. That's why I have these few men. But if we can demonstrate the people of what we're capable of, and destroy that convoy tomorrow, hell, we'll make a new army. Damn it! We might start a new war! Do you trust the Mexicans? No, sir. I'll tell you what will happen in Puerto Caliente. Those Mexicans will get their payment in gunpowder. You get it? Yes, sir. Sir, we saw a patrol scar of soldiers going towards the cemetery. We must make sure they don't see us and don't talk. Send Sancho and his gringos to take them out. What was that? It came from the old cemetery. Let's go. Hey, wait. Those guys are soldiers. Is it the convoy? They're just three. Must be a patrol. That's the gang. We gotta get out of here.
Let's kill those sneaker lovers! Battle positions! Who are you? Since you showed up in my house, I should be the one to ask that. I'm no one. I was a Mormon. I'm no one, too. I was a murderer. Tell me, what did you do? Me, nothing yet. Someone killed my family. I'll pay him back. Who'd you murder? I used to kill Mormons. Yeah, I didn't care much. Fueled by whiskey. Shooting at anyone I didn't find pleasant. <laughs> Law had nothing against me. It was all against those guys. So that was fine too. Then that winter in 1846 came. My horse died. I was gonna freeze. There was a group of Mormons camping not too far off. They rescued me. They didn't even ask who I was. For all they knew, I could have killed anyone that they knew. They even gave me a horse. I started to realize what I'd been doing for all those years. All the sins I committed. I decided that I should stop drinking. I went to Salt Lake. They're building a wonderful temple there, by the way. And I sat down with some Mormons to talk about this. You know what got me? They weren't judging me because of all the things I did. And now I know why. No one can judge you, kid. Only one can. God. That's right. He's the only judge. And what he says is that you can repent. I repented my sins long ago, but I cannot forget them. I cannot live together with others, knowing that I used to kill people like them. I'm not that strong. That's why I'm here. I believe each of us has a burden that he's capable of lifting. Some have it heavier, some lighter. But what I also think is that sometimes we choose how heavy our burden is. Believe me, kid, my burden's quite heavy. Burden of murder ain't something easy to live with. I guess your friend found you. Hey, kid. Remember to choose the right. We're late. This is Jack the Slaver's work. We're behind them just by a few hours, though. My guess is that they went to hide in Pietra Caliente.
This place was abandoned some years ago, after the railway cut it out of the trade routes. Some say a terrible crime was committed, and the perpetrators got still own the place. The only true thing is that there's been an Indian cemetery around the place where the church is now. this part. Get Sancho! Who's there? Just what him did, son of a bitch. Forgive. Go to Salt Lake City, kid. Go with your Mormon friends. Leave behind all of this. You, I was expecting this. Go ahead, boy, pull the trigger, and you won't be better than me. I didn't massacre people with no mercy. Oh, but you will. You will. Hey, wait a second. Wait. There. Done.
our partner is dead. That's sad. Come on, let's collect the bodies. Kid, we're rich. What? This is what we came to do. I know, but I won't do this. I'll bury the native, then I'll leave. I knew it. Because, kid, there's two kind of people in the West. Those who shoot and those who pray.